The simple answer to that is yes. Uh, there have been many studies that have shown that patients who are physically inactive, who lead a very sedentary lifestyle, and certainly, of course, obesity, uh, have a higher risk of getting cancer. So uh, this has been proven multiple times uh, through multiple studies. And so we know now that uh, patients who, who are on the opposite physically active do have a lower risk of getting cancer. So it's important to remain uh, active uh, for patients who've never had cancer before because that reduces your risk of ever getting cancer. And even for patients who have cancer or have had cancer, we know that remaining active right, does have its benefits as well. So for example, we know that uh, patients who are active during chemotherapy generally tolerate chemotherapy better than those who are uh, inactive during treatment. So we, I often encourage my patients, you know, be active as much as you can. Of course, uh, chemotherapy does have side effects, so I always warn them to watch uh, how, how much they can push themselves. But mild to moderate exercise is generally encouraged. Now, we also know that most of us know exercise is important, staying active is important, not just for preventing cancer, but so many other conditions like diabetes, uh, strokes, heart disease. But why don't we do it? And I think sometimes we think it's a goal that's unachievable. But really what we are encouraging people is uh, to start somewhere. It's really achievable. We encourage about half an hour of exercise each time and only five times a week. Now that exercise doesn't have to be going out to run a marathon or running at a very fast pace. Even, even just brisk walking counts as mild to moderate exercise. So it's important to just get out there, start somewhere. Uh, you can start with something uh, simple like just walking, uh, taking it easy, you know, initially when, if you haven't been exercising for a long time, and then just walk for about half an hour uh, every day, and then slowly build it up. Of course, always important to check with your doctors first before you embark on any uh, physical activity, but it's something that is definitely achievable. You just have to start somewhere. So go easy and then slowly build up. And you'll find that it's actually something once you build it into your lifestyle, it has so many benefits besides preventing cancer. Uh, it has uh, benefits on your mood, your whole, uh, your whole outlook on life. So it's a simple thing that we encourage all patients and all people to do.